We're at the end of the journey. It's been a long journey tracing the, um, the classics of American architecture as we've driven all the way from the west coast to the east coast. And we started off with some of the early work of Frank Lloyd Wright and we're ending, appropriate enough, with one of his last um, major commissions, the Guggenheim Museum behind me. In fact, it wasn't actually finished until after Frank died, although he oversaw it and the control freak that he was, he was here controlling it right to the end. So he pretty much um, controlled the structure we see behind us. And it's a fantastic museum. I think really it's one of the first museums that fits the modern trend that we have today, where the museum itself becomes a reason to visit. Like you'll go to Bilbo to see the work of Frank Gehry. People come to New York to see the work of Frank Lloyd Wright. And frankly, I went in there, had no interest in the artwork at all. I wanted to see the architecture. The star here is the building, and that's the way any good building should be. Frank is great. Wow, this is those brakes behind me. You can tell this is New York. Frank is great because he always responded to what the people, um, what the people needed. And of course, that's um, the tale of any great architect. So his early work at the start of the 20th century, the prairie style houses, so warm and cozy, those those lovely rustic houses are completely different from this piece of contemporary design behind me. Here he was thinking about what people needed in the museum, and inside, I wish we could film inside, but you see this great hat structure, it looks like a spaceship that's landed, of course we're talking about the mid-1950s here, and inside what you've got is one great, it's a huge ramp which builds up and goes the whole way up, so when you change the levels in the art gallery, you're not going from floor to floor to floor, you're going on a journey, so it's fantastic for creators because you create the journey and you just gradually walk up that ramp and go all the way to the top and you have the story of the art which I think is the reason why this building is so successful. Personally, if there wasn't a single piece of artwork inside it, I would love this piece of building. This piece of building, this building.